find here in our Monday update on the curve. Trey, good morning. How are you doing today? Good. How are y'all? Okay, uh, we're doing well, but uh, you didn't even get to play a game yesterday, did you? It was, and it was not postponed. It was downright canceled. Tell us about that. Yeah, the the curve doesn't play Hartford again the rest of this season, so they just went ahead and canceled it. With it being minor league baseball, um, the travel's a bit harder, and especially these teams being so far apart, about seven hours apart, um, the call was just made by the league that they would go ahead and cancel it. So now the schedule will be 140, uh, 139 games this year instead of 140 games. Mm, that'll be enough. Uh, <laughs> on yeah. to Binghamton you go. Tell us about Binghamton. Tim Tebow, huh? Yeah, so Tim Tebow's been playing for them. He's actually playing pretty well uh, most of the season. He's striking out a lot, but uh, got a batting average. He's been sitting around, sitting around uh, 250 for much of the season. Um, he did a few home runs here and there. The biggest thing for Tebow is he's striking out so much, but his batting average on balls in play, which is one of those advanced stats that make everyone's heads spin uh, a lot of the times, so that we don't use a lot on our broadcasts, but um, his batting average in balls in play is something like 450. So as long as he makes contact, he's, he's doing well. Um, so that should be a pretty interesting series getting to see Tebow play. I know that uh, that's been a... a point of a lot of attention over the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. Well, you say he strikes out a lot, but just uh, ask Aaron Judge and it's par for the course. Okay, we'll forget that. Uh, let's go on to what's happening whenever you get back after the Binghamton trip. I know you have a lot of things in the works, don't you? Uh, yes, got a, got a great homestand coming up starting on uh, Friday night this week. So Friday, New Hampshire comes to town. and uh, Altoona, New Hampshire are two of the most prospect stacked teams in all of minor league baseball. Uh, MLB.com came out with a list uh, back at the beginning of the season of the two or of the the ten most prospect talented teams in minor league baseball and the Curve and the Fisher Cats were both on that list. Um, so that's that's coming up this weekend. On Saturday, Adam Heisdu is coming back to town. I know that um, anyone who's followed the franchise for a long time knows all about Adam. Uh, he still holds a lot of records in our record book. He was with the team for its first two seasons. Um, he had a, a really good 1999 season and then an untouchable 2000 season and uh, made his way up to the big leagues after a long time in the minor leagues at that point. So on Saturday, we're going to give away the Adam Heisdu Fans' Choice All-Time Curve Team bobblehead, and he's going to be on hand, meet with fans, and, uh, and reminisce on... 20 years ago playing in Altoona. So that should be pretty cool this weekend. Mm, that's hard to believe, 20 years. You talked about the prospects. It's unfortunate. I see where Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is out, so he's not going to be available. He's out for like yeah, four weeks or something? It's a real shame. Yeah, I think he injured his knee uh, a couple of days ago. Um, he, he he injured he injured his knee, sat out for a day or two, then came back, and then I think he re-aggravated, and they just went ahead and put him on the disabled list. So. Mm-hmm. That's a real shame. Um, he has been the biggest story in the league this year um, and deserves every bit of the attention that he's been getting because he's hitting over 400. Um, he's an exciting player. I got to see him even take batting practice in spring training down in Dunedin where the Blue Jays trained a couple of years ago when he was 18, I think. And it was an incredible experience. <laughs> so um, really looking forward to – we were really we were all really looking forward to getting a chance to see him play. It's not often that you get a little bit excited for an opposing player coming sure. in, but he's that type of talent. So it's a real shame that he's not going to be on the field. Dre, uh, one more thing uh, before you leave us. Give us an overview of your thoughts, how the curve uh, has been playing as of late. Sometimes it's up and sometimes it's down, but I guess maybe, you know, long season those things happen. Yeah, you know, looking at it, it's – it's actually pretty similar to how the last few years have gone. Um, the team has the team has not seemed to have found its stride yet. Um, I think if you asked anyone in that clubhouse, they would tell you that they're not playing anywhere close to their potential. And that, that's a byproduct of having the youngest team in the Eastern League. These guys are young for the level. They're playing against guys who are five, six, sometimes eight, ten years older than they are. Guys who have major league experience. Um, it's an adjustment period. But they have hung around. They sit three and a half games back of first place, at least going into Sunday. And um, 
they as long as they keep staying around 500 at a certain point you have the feeling that this team's going to break out and put together a pretty decent sized winning streak catch up to the leaders and then have a chance to fight for a playoff spot come august and september and that's really what you want we've seen that model the last three years of the the last three years the team has made the postseason where they've been around 500 for much of the year it's really just one winning streak that 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 tips them over the edge so we're still we're waiting for that to happen we're waiting for things to click for a lot of these young players okay maybe you'll stop uh, start out in binghamton tomorrow night good luck to you hey thanks for the update we'll talk with you next monday good talking to you i'll talk to you next time okay trey wilson Altoona Curve. There mm-hmm. you go. They'll be back after the trip to Binghamton. You know the real reason that game was canceled yesterday? I was supposed to be there. I'm surprised. I was <laughs> surprised when I saw that it was canceled so early. It wasn't raining here. Yeah. And obviously it was raining quite a while in yeah, Altoona. Evidently, yeah. I'm glad I didn't make the trip, though, knowing and what then was having about to, to come happen. back. Yeah, exactly. that happened last year. We made that trip and then, uh, nope, canceled. Mm-hmm. 